welcome to Answer. So today is the 78th episode in the biology series. So today we are going to take an essay from the immunity system. So today we are going to discuss about the types of cells. The main types of cells. We are not going to deep dive into all the cells. Just the main types of cells. Yes. So like what we know the red blood cells, epithelial cells, all of them. I am going to explain them bit by bit. Okay. So first of all, let's start with the most the cell which is most inside our body that is the red blood cells 84% of all of the cells inside our body are red blood cells the most popular cells inside our body so the main use of red blood cells is that they carry oxygen to places they go to the heart take oxygen then just go around the body to give the oxygen and then go back to the heart where they get the oxygen again and repeat more than a thousand times per day <laughs> yes so that is simply the red blood cells next the main important platelets so think you got a cut here yes it is very, it is very painful but after less than a week there is something here it's like a dark red color the, so that dark red color comes from the blood which like leaked off some day ago but then how did it get clogged and what clogged it so the reason behind all of this clogging is the one and only platelets with the help of some of the vitamin k yes so platelets are very important when like these when we get cuts or anything like that which which less body i mean blood out of our body yes so if there were no platelets if we got a cut uh, it's just it will just go out and you will die within a day because there is nothing stopping the blood from coming out everywhere yes so yeah that is for platelets next one of the most important cells inside our body the white blood cells so most cells inside our immune system are white blood cells only yes so including our dendritic cells macrophages neutrophils every cell which i explained inside the immune system are mainly a part of white blood cells yes there are again different types of white blood cells leukocytes and the other one okay so next again there's another type like a smaller calcification inside leukocytes this is known as langerhans cells langerhans cells are cells which can do a thing known as antigen presenting and this there's only one important cell in that category and then just just guess the diagram this is the only cell which can do anti presenting antigen presenting and it is the dendritic cell one of the most important cells of the immune system as well so next immune cells so immune cells i mean sorry not the immune cells but muscle cells muscle cells are very important for us because they are the main cells which let us move they are the ones who let the muscles contract and just bend do anything from opening this marker to literally draw this thing over here and literally saying this words to you yeah it's a paradox kind of and yeah okay so next our neuron cells our neuron cells to be short Let's just remove this. We need space for these neurocytes and neurons, kind of. Okay. So let's just draw a small neuron. First, this is the main head part, and then there are many dendrites. There are a lot of dendrites to connect with other neuron neurons. Ah, this will take a long time. Okay, that is enough. So next there will be a big tail here known as the axon and there will be big cylinders which we are going to discuss about later in this video and then there is another set of dendrites yeah so signals from here go to another cell where they will connect go from here yes so yeah okay so this is the neuron cell neuron cells are the main reason that we can literally think they are the only thing which can send energy uh, that means electri electricity in the form of thoughts yes that means thoughts in the form of electricity yes they are the only cells 
which let us think no other cells can do this 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 type of cell is mainly found in our brain of course and remaining part of our body like in our spinal cord and every nerve because how can it how can electricity be transferred without neutron cells I mean, neurons yes so next another type of cell known as glial cells glial cells are also another type of neuron related cells they are so important to neurons because they are the ones which make them connect because this is not one cell this is three cells this these two cylinders are also cells these two types of cells this cell is known as a schwann cell which is a type of a glial cell again there are many different types of glial cells ranging from microglial cells which are just a pair of dendrites yeah huh. it will take some time just bear with me okay so they will also connect with the dendrites of neutron cells they act as like a broker <laughs> yes just like how these schwann cells also act yes so and here there is going to be another neuron cell also yes this is how these glial cells work again there are many different types of glial cells from one glial cell which is literally a rod nothing else and with some dendrites yeah it's pretty these are known as astrocytes yes again there are many different names for these things glial cells so next one of the weirdest cells out there the glow goblet cells so you may think when you go to cold there will be a lot of mucus coming out of your nose all yeah so where does this mucus come from does your body magically produce it from thin air no the main reason that this mucus comes from is the goblet cells so these goblet cells have many smaller cavities where this mucin is produced so mucin is just another name for mucus and from these global goblet cells mucus is produced and this is very important because the mucosal layer which is a layer completely made out of mucus just shares the entire part of our gut not our skin it just the gut if it was our skin it would be pretty weird yeah we already have a little layer here on our skin which we already discussed in the last video yes okay so this is for the glial cells and then the one and only fat cells so there are cells which guess it i'll wait store fat nothing else they just store fat the fat will come in and then when the our body needs the fat it, the cell will just ship it out into nowhere into the outside what yes the extra cellular space yeah the, these fat cells are very very simple so simple that anybody can understand so next all type of cell known as parietal cells which are pretty similar to the the goblet cells as they also secrete something so this sec- they secrete acids so how does your stomach digest and how where does that hydrochloric acid come from these cells produce that the parietal cells produce all of this acid inside our stomach yes this is how we get stomach i mean this hydrochloric acid inside our stomach easy simple see so as for today about the types of cells the main types of cells oh yeah for, sorry one thing to forgot the endothelial and the epithelial again there are two types so yeah let's just rub it quickly okay so both of them are pretty simple to say yeah very easy to understand too so we already discussed about the epithelial before in the last episode about the skin but let's just see before see if again so first on the skin there are many layers of cells without a reason to like exist that means they act as barriers so these cells are known as epithelial cells yes they prevent bacteria from entering inside our body yes so in the skin there are many layers of epithelial cells like this this um, like that meanwhile inside our literal guts there's only one layer of epithelial cells yes there are only two different big places where epithelial cells exist the skin and inside our gut yes even our mouth too yeah and then our endothelial cells so you may did you ever think what blood vessels are made up of 
What are these blood vessels even made of? What are they made of? Did you ever think about that as a shower thought and or any other thought when watching my videos? Okay. So if you said yes, okay, and if you said no, also okay. So yeah, I'll explain it. So the cells which make there are many different types of cells which like make the blood vessels, but the main one here are the endothelial cells, which there is only one layer inside the blood vessels, but still they are very important as they don't let any of the blood or plasma leak out. Yes, sometimes they will let the neutrophils go out, but they won't let the plasma go out. Yes. So the other cells which also help in making the blood cells, blood vessels, are the muscle cells. Yes, they also serve on the blood blood vessels. See us for today about the types of cells. Bye.